Hello everyone. So as we know that we are solving top 50 array questions of Froglick Froglick. Today we are going to solve this question, find duplicates in the array. Okay. And uh, this is the question. So uh, given an array of size n, which contains elements from 0 to n minus 1, you need to find all the elements occurring more than once in the given array. Return the answer in ascending order. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to, uh, we, we will be given an array and we will to, we have to find all the elements which are present in the array more than one time. Okay, we, more than one time. So let's try to understand this question in better manner. Okay, and then uh, we, we will discuss about the possible solution and we will write the code. Okay, so let's take a example array. 2, 3, 1, and 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, n is 5, okay, and uh, in this question, uh, we need to find out that what are the elements which are available uh, more than one time, okay, okay, one second, yeah, what are the question, uh, what are the elements which are available more, more than one time, so as we can see already, that uh, two is a uh, two is a um, two can be a possible solution because two is available here and available here as well. So it is more than one time. Three is also available two times. So three is also available two times. So so what we need to do? We need to create a array list. Okay. We need to create a array list and we need to uh, save two and three into that. Into that. So we need to create a array list and uh, we need to return this array list so this is uh, going to be our answer okay so how can we find find that how can we find that so let's just dis discuss the solution okay so uh, uh, for the solution we can use hasmap okay we can use hasmap to uh, find that uh, how many times a particular elements are there in the array okay so let's create a hasmap so let's imagine this is a hasmap okay and after that we are going to run a loop Okay, and uh, uh, at every instance, what we are going to do, we are going to check that is this element available in the hash map, and if it is available, then we are going to increase the count of this, and if it is if it is not available, then we are going to save this. So at uh, first iteration, we are at two. Okay, so we are going to check is two available in the hash map. So right now our hash map is completely empty. Okay. This is our hash map. Okay, so right now our hash map is completely empty. So no, two is not available in the hash map. So we are going to save this two, and we are going to uh, write the count of the uh, element two. So and this is available only one time right now. Okay, after that we are, we will be at three. So at three also we are going to save this to the our to our hash map and it is also available available only one time okay after that we will be at one okay and at one also we have we will check that is one available in the hash map then no it is not available in the hash map so we are going to save one also and one is available only one time right until now okay after that we will be at uh, two Okay, so we will check that is two available in the hash map. So we can see that yes, two is already available in the hash map. Okay, and uh, it is available uh, until now, it is one time. So we are going to uh, increase the count of two. Okay, so we are going to increase the count of two by, by one. Okay, so uh, now two is two times. Okay, after that, what uh, we will be at uh, three. So we can see here as well that three is available in the hash map. Okay, so we need to increase the count of three. So it is one and just write two over here because three is available in the array two times. Okay, after that, we have completed our loop. Okay, so uh, uh, when we have completed our loop, so after that, we need to run the loop 
through the hash map. Okay, we need to run the loop through the hash map. And we need to check that is two available more than one time. Is two available more than one time? Then yes, it is available more than one time. So what we are going to do, we are going to store this two into our array list, array list of answers. So we have a array list. And this is going to be our answer. So we are going to store the two over here. Okay. After that, we will be at uh, three. So we need to check that is three available more than one time. Is the count of three is is the count of three more than one? So yes, three is available more than one time. The count of three is more than one. It is available two times. So what we are going to do? We are going to save the into our array list okay after that we will be at uh, one so we again the same question is one the count of one is more than one then no it is not more than one so uh, what we are going to do we are going to do nothing okay after that this is the array list and remember we have to give the answer in sorted manner okay so uh, if we have to give the answer in sorted manner so what we are going to do we are going to sort this array list Okay, after sorting this array list, it is going to be like this. It is not going to be changed because uh, it was already sorted, but uh, there will be a very, very much a, uh, situation where it was not sorted and we have to sort it. Okay, and after sorting it, it is going to look like this. Okay, and uh, this is our answer. This is what we need to return. Okay, so we have discussed the approach of the question. Let's go to the code editor and let's uh, try to write the code. So we are now at code editor. So we are at code editor. So let's write the code. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to create a hash map. Okay. So let's create a hash map. As map is going to be teacher of teacher, teacher and integer. I'm naming map. Okay. After that, we will store all the values in the has map. So for that, just run a loop for the. Just run a loop for the array, okay? And if there can be two condition, if uh, already contains the current element, or it does not. If it does not, then just put the current element and give the count of one. And if it is already available, then uh, just find out how many times it is already available. What is the current count of it? So and uh, just get the count. Okay. After all this. Uh, after uh, running the loop, uh, we are going to just create a array list for the answer. Okay, and uh, now run the loop for our map. Okay, so
so this is how you can uh, run the loop for the hash map okay so yeah and now what we are going to do we are going to take key okay so map element okay so we are uh, getting the key and we are getting we will get the value of uh, this as well okay count of uh, it and uh, or value of it fine so now we have the key and we have the value and we will check for every instance that if value is greater than one then we need to add that into our answer we need to, uh, we need to add the key okay we need to add the key into the, into our answer okay and uh, after all this uh, one thing which uh, one edge case which we need to um, take care of if uh, there is no repeating element then we have to return minus one okay so for that uh, we can do like this if ans dot size is zero then what we can do we can add minus one into this because if ans dot um, our the size of our answer array list is uh, zero then then what does this mean this means that there are no repeating element in the given array okay so we are going to uh, add the minus one here and we are going to return it before returning it we need to sort it so after sorting it this we can return our answer so let's try to run this code let's see that uh, if uh, our basic test cases are getting passed so yes our basic test case is getting passed so let's submit this code let's see that uh, if we have solved this question successfully or not so yes we have already solved this question okay so this is how you can uh, solve this question okay next we are going to do this question sort an array using quick sort algorithm before until then thank you so much